So welcome to 30 Minute Webinars. I am really, really excited to be sharing this with you. Um, now, on this webinar, I promise there is going to be no boring long story about me, no stupidly long sales pitch, absolutely masses and masses of content, you know, so the magic of 30 minute webinars, what they're going to do for you, how to put it all together, um, how to ensure attention and stickability, how to deliver on your promise and build trust, and how to get people buying, okay, this is what it's all about. At the end, I'm going to make a brief offer if you want to learn more in more depth uh, from me. And I promise that will be no longer than five minutes. OK, and um, I've actually timed it to be four minutes. But hey, give me a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, and I'm going to give you a template for you to download as well uh, at the end. I'll probably need to stop my screen sharing by then, but I will give you a template that you can download as well. So, first of all, what is the magic of 30-minute webinars? Well, first of all, um, it respects people's time. It builds trust. It's short and concise, which makes it more memorable. And the big thing is people hate these great big long webinars. You know, th there is no time for hot air and fluff uh, in a 30-minute webinar. And that's the thing that people have said that they don't like the most. It's not about the huge big sales pitch at the end. It's a, instead, it's all about creating buyer desire. So delivering great value that people will really want to, um, you, you know, go with you to the next stage. It's different. It's refreshing. It sets you apart from everybody else. So let's have a look at, first of all, then what's in it for you? So where are you now? Um, Mark, just, just can mark yourself for a minute on a, a scale of one to ten, one being low and ten being high. Rate yourself on the results you've been getting from your webinars um, or, you know, put one or zero if you haven't been doing any. And also the level of confidence you have about running webinars that are going to convert for you. OK, um, and, you know, type that number in the um, questions. OK, Chase is saying no, not done any yet. Now, the thing is. I know that a lot of you do what you do because you want to make a difference and you want to increase your income. So if that's true for you, then, you know, again, type yes in the in the um, uh, Q&A box for me, because I'm sure this is what it's all about. We all want to do that. We all want to make an impact on the world and we all want to have a nicer you know, living for ourselves. Um, so, again, consider what is it that's sparked your interest to be here and learn about how to do webinars? Now, it could well be that maybe right now you don't have enough clients. You know, you might have some, but not enough. You know, maybe your list is very small and you want to grow it. Maybe right now you don't have the income that you would like to have to create the, you know, lifestyle that you would you would really like to have. Worst of all, it might mean that you're not making a difference and that can leave you feel a bit of a fraud and that, that you know, you're not walking your talk. What do you want instead? These, these are the things that we usually aspire to. A massive subscriber list, plentiful clients, being able to make that big difference that you really dream of, and also having the income for your own dream life so that you can become a role model for others. Again, if that's true for you, type yes for me in the uh, Q&A. And thanks, thanks, Trace, you've uh, found the uh, Q&A, so that's superb. And um, all right. So what you need then is the vehicle to do that and the vehicle to do that and to get from struggling and wandering around in the street uh, to being a superstar. And, you know, having all of those things is the ability to run webinars that people are going to love. OK, not the webinars that people hate. You know, all the ones that people complain about, but webinars that people will absolutely love and that will create profit for you. That's what it's all about. So the question is, when? When are you going to do this? And here's the thing. There is no best time. The time is now. You know, you can wait till after Christmas. You can wait till after the new year. You can wait till Johnny starts school. You can wait for this, that or the other. If you keep on waiting for the best time, you'll still be in the same position this time next year. All right. So start moving towards it now. You know, that is when the best time is. And think about 
what's in it for you? Yeah, this, you know, what is in it for you? Just, just do the maths. Okay. What can one webinar provide for you? If it gives you one VIP client or 10 members in your membership site or 20 to 30 low end sales or, you know, 10 sales of a product, I want you to write that figure down right now. You don't have to put it in the chat. You know, this could be private. Keep it to yourself. But what could one webinar provide for you? Okay, because that's really important. And how do you go about learning to do it? Well, you can, you know, do it the wrong way, the school of hard knocks. You can learn from somebody who's clueless, who doesn't really know what they're doing. You can try and learn it from books, but that's not really that effective. So why should you listen to me? Well, first of all, I had all the qualifications to be successful way before I was. But I bombed in terms of earning because I didn't know the ingredients. I got the right mentoring. And to cut a very long story short, that led me to my first five-figure month from webinars, a regular monthly income. And it allowed me to achieve my dreams of moving from Plymouth to Gibraltar and being in the sun and now to continue traveling throughout the world. Uh, right now, I'm in Canada and having a great time. And I, But when this is finished, I'll be back on the beach again. Uh, but this isn't about me. It's about you and how you can use 30-minute webinars to achieve what you want, get clients, and let's give webinars a good name again. You know, does that sound good? If so, just put a little yes in the um, uh, chat for me or, or in the Q&A for me. Uh, so let's go through the 30-minute webinar. So step one. Step one is all about three important things. OK, now, if you don't do this, you're going to find that you um, are all over the place. You're going to find that just you, first of all, you can't get the timing right. You don't get the right ingredients in and it can all be a little bit of a mess. And this is all about the structure. OK, and here's the thing. You need a beginning, a middle and an end. And you're thinking, have I really come onto a webinar? to learn that the structure is all about a beginning, a middle, and an end. But here's the thing. Most people only deliver the middle. An introduction and conclusion is middle. You need a big start, and there are certain things you need in the start, which I'm going to talk about shortly in step two. Uh, and that's really important because it sets everything up. Then you need the, uh, you know, you look, need to look at timing. And let's have a look here at the timing for your structure. Your beginning needs to be around five minutes ish. OK, your end needs to be around four or five minutes ish. And that leaves out of 30 minutes, 20 minutes for your middle. Now, if your beginning is going to take a little bit longer and sometimes to set the scene, you might need six minutes. So you need to take a minute either off the middle or off the end. OK, so you can play with it. But what you don't want is. All beginning and all end with no middle, which is what those horrible webinars that we all hate are like. All right. So this is very important. You really need it to be the beginning, the middle and the end. And um, now the structure is, first of all, you need to know what the purpose is. And I'm going to give you this as a download at the end so that you can take this away. You start with, well, what's the purpose? What am I trying to achieve here? Am I selling something? Am I inviting them to a conversation with me where I will then, you know, um, you know, put my offer in front of them? Uh, so you start with a purpose. And then you decide what you're going to do at the end. So like I said, am I going to, um, you know, put an offer together? What's that going to look like? Am I going to invite them to a conversation with me? Am I going to get them to do something else? Uh, so you need to think about your ending. Then you come back to the beginning and you do a beginning that is going to fit with the end. Then you fill in the middle bit and then you add, you spice it up with some magic ingredients. OK, that's the way I always handle my presentations. OK, so now here's the other thing that's important. All of this absolutely must be in alignment with each other. You can't have a topic and then sell something that is not absolutely 100 percent fitted with what you've been talking about. And sometimes it can be kind of in the same ballpark. But if it's not exactly the same, it's not going to work. So you have to show how the offer that you make 
absolutely fits in with what you've been talking about. If it's not in alignment, it's not going to work. All right. So that's really, really important. So that's the structure. All right. So step two. This is really vital. If you do not do this, you're going to end up finding that people start wandering off. You're going to lose people's attention. They're going to start browsing Facebook. They're going to be looking at their phone and all the rest of it. Okay, so this is the absolute beginning. You've got to, first of all, give them a big attention grabber. So I kind of started off saying, you know, about the old way, about webinars that people absolutely hate uh, and all of that kind of thing. And that we're going to do something completely different. Okay, so it's an attention grabber. It can be a question. It can be a quotation. It can be a statement. Um, now, I can go into, obviously, all of this in a lot more detail than I can share with you on a 30 minute webinar. But I just want to you want you to start thinking about what those attention grabbers are, you know, um, because it's important. It's important that you accept the expectations. Like I told you what not to expect and what to expect. Yeah. And then you want to give them some immediate content. So I kind of told you what was, you know, the magic of 30 minute webinars, why and how you can benefit from them. And then we're going to go into what I call the pasty. Now, this pasty is the key. This, for me, is the golden nugget. And this is something that up until now I've only shared with people who have actually bought my material. But I think it's so important, and I want to make such a revolution out there, I've decided to share the pasty with everybody else out there. And I just want the whole world to know about the pasty, basically. Okay, so what is the pasty? Well, it's all about positioning. It's all about how you position and the order that you position in. So P just stands for positioning, and that it's absolutely vital that you do it right at the beginning of a webinar. But this is the thing. And this is where my structure and formula are different from everybody else's. The webinar that's out there at the moment that's being used by all the gurus and being taught by all the gurus starts with the hero's journey story. This is why you should listen to me. But at the very beginning, people don't give a monkeys about who you are and who and, and your story. They care about themselves. They are there because they have chosen to join the webinar for a reason. And you need to uh, kind of move into that straight away. So what you're going to do is talk about the audience, about their worries, about, you know, the things that they don't want, about the things that they do want instead. You know, this is absolutely vital. You make that connection with them and you don't need to tell them not to browse Facebook or not to, you know, um, I don't know. Get a pen and paper. How patronizing is that? Hey, get a pen and paper. You might watch the notes, you know? No, you don't need to do that. If you do all of this properly, people will naturally want to pay attention and they will naturally want to take notes. So you just start off with it being what it's all about. You're there to serve the audience. So you do that first. You talk about the audience. Then what you do is you position the subject of what you are teaching is the thing, the vehicle that's going to help them get from where they are now, where they don't you know, want to be, to where they want to go. And then they're going to make that connection. Yeah, this is really interesting. This is for me. I like this. You know, I want to listen in and I want to listen more. Then what you need to do is address, well, when do you want to do this? Because you need to, if people are going to buy you need to create a little bit of urgency. You need to kind of say, well, when are you going to do this? Because as a human race, we all are natural procrastinators. So you really do want to build that urgency in. Uh, and then you want to show them how they can get a return on investment or what it's worth. What would this be worth to them? So you might be. So for me, for example, I can say if I get you one client as a result of this, it will way more than pay for the cost of the course. Now, you may not be in that space. You may be looking um, at people who uh are perhaps doing something which is going to give people confidence or it's going to help them find a soulmate or something like that. But you've just got to say, what would that be worth to you? You know, and get them to write down a figure. And that's how you show 
let, you know, we're talking of the value of your course here, and you haven't even mentioned the course yet. But this is why you need to um, to talk about the time and the money. And then finally, the why is your story. That's where you talk about yourself. And you don't have to take 25 minutes. You just have to build credibility. I was here. I did this. I did that. Now I'm doing this. And you, all you have to do is show your credibility. That's all, you know, and, you, and boom, you're away to go. Okay. And that is it. So the next step, step three is all about, you guessed it, <laughs> you know, actually, no, I'm not going to reveal it just yet. Okay, so step three is, if you don't do this, then people are going to feel disappointed. How many webinars have you attended where somebody's promised that you're going to learn X, Y, and Z, and they do not deliver on that promise? How does that feel? What does that mean like, for you? You know, it's like, I just wasted all this time. and actually breaks trust instead of building trust okay so as you probably guessed this is all about the middle all right this is the main teaching content all right now what we need to do here is we need to break this down into something where people can easily follow it somewhere where it's going to be a structure where people can number one follow it number two get great value from it Number three, realize, oh, my gosh, this is amazing, and I want to learn more, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to give them steps of areas or teaching. So three steps, four steps, five steps. I'm actually giving you four main steps here, plus I gave you the fifth one, which was the magic of the uh, of the 30-minute webinar, which I gave you, like, earlier on, okay? So I'm giving you the structure. Then I'm giving you the beginning, the middle, and the end. There are four key parts to making a 30-minute webinar work, okay? Then what you do is we craft each step, and that means you basically write out what you're going to talk about in each step. Now, I have this amazing system, um, which I call Craft, which I don't have time to go in today on this particular webinar. Needless to say, it is in my course, if you should want to um, uh, go ahead with that later on. But I am going to give you the T. I'm going to give you the, the, the T, which is a, you give them teaching, valuable teaching, valuable tips for the step that you're talking about. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to do exactly what I just did. You're going to say, oh, my gosh, this step it, it contains all of these things. You need to do this, 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 this and this. Uh, now, what I'm, I obviously don't have time to go into all of that today, but let me give you something now valuable that you can take away with. All right. And if you do that, people feel that they are getting great value. They feel that you've delivered on your promise. Plus, it means that they, they understand that, oh, my gosh, there is a lot of valuable stuff that I can be learn that I can learn here from this person. So they're much more likely then to, you know, uh, be interested in at least finding out, you know, um, more about, you know, what, what the offer is and whether or not I'm willing to pay that kind of money for it. Yeah. Does that does that make sense? Then when you do that. The other part of the middle is you just recap it so that it sticks. Why do you need to recap it so that it sticks? Well, first of all, this is a good learning technique. You know, I've come from a background of teaching and training, okay, teaching and training adults. And you always have to uh, make sure that the learning is going to stick, that it's going to be memorable so that people can implement it. And that's why you need to do a recap. And then, of course, what you do is you draw your conclusion. If you do this, that's going to happen. If you do this, you're going to go from where you don't want to be to where you do want to be. And guess what that does? That actually, you know, seeds more desire. Yeah. Remember, I said this is all right. Not selling. You don't sell. You don't need to sell. You just build buyer desire. All right. And this is um, this is what it's all about. So. Um, OK, I hope that makes sense to you as far as the middle goes. Um, if you've uh, got any comments or questions, then keep putting them in the uh, chat. Uh, thanks, Chase. Glad you're really enjoying it and that it's making sense to you. OK, super cool. Uh, all right. So the next thing then. 
the end. Da, da, da. Now, you uh, have probably guessed by now that the end, there's quite a lot to the end to make it work for you. If you don't do this part properly, you are basically not going to convert the people into buyers. OK, in fact, you could probably say that for any of the steps. But um, the end is important. Now, you don't want the end to feel awkward. You don't want the end to feel rushed. You don't want the end to not be in alignment with the rest. Otherwise, it's going to feel awkward and you, it's going to kind of seem very salesy and pushy. And that's what breaks trust. And that's what stops the sale from going ahead. So the ingredients then from the end, first of all, it needs to flow naturally and seamlessly from the recap. Recap. So you've just done your content. Yeah, you've just given you've done a five minute set in the scene and building it up and connecting with the audience. Then you do 20 minutes of really good value training and education where you give them actual takeaway implementation tips. OK. Um, and then what you do is you do your recap and then you can flow from the recap and the conclusion. You do this and you will move from here to there. And then, of course, you just simply say, obviously, I've given you some great stuff here. I hope you agree that you've given, you know, I've given you some great stuff here. You can go away. You can implement this. You can put it into action with what you've learned already. But if you want to take it to a deeper level, if you want to learn more about each step, if you want all the little tricks of the trade, then it makes sense, you know, and then you tell them and you introduce your offer. By then, it's all making sense. It's seamless. People, it, it, it's not something awkward and that's put on at the end. So then you need to give your offer. Tell them about the offer. And here's the thing. Here's the good news. You do not need to do a 45 minute long stack. No, people hate that. You know, <laughs> you just simply set it out like a market store would with their goods, you know, or, um, you know, think of John Lewis. They have beautiful displays. You just display what's in your product. OK. And yeah, you do that by stacking the modules up on a slide. But you haven't got to go through that in the most painful detail. You know, by now. If you've done the content right, people are either ready to buy or they're not. I don't think any amount of stacking and going on and on and on and on and on is going to make a difference. OK, you build the desire in the content uh, and that's what it's about. But however, we all like a bit of a bargain, don't we? <laughs> so when you make your offer, you tell them what the regular price is. So and don't make it up. Don't you don't overinflate the price. There's no need, you know. So you don't say, hey, this is normally worth nine thousand nine hundred ninety seven dollars, you know. But if you if you kind of what I would say, and this is something that I'm about to do, is uh, put all of these things on my website at a fair and regular price. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add bonuses, because like I said, we all like a bargain. Then you put the add up the value and the real values, not made up values, like I said, of um, the main program and any bonuses that you're adding. And then you add up the value. OK. Uh, and then it's a really good idea to at that point say here, I'm now going to give you a freebie. OK. So you tell people that stick around to the end and I'm going to give you, you know, further training and a download. Then at the end of that, if you want to, you can add another fast action bonus. OK, not essential, but you can. Then you take your questions and then you close. And the close is not the close of the sale, because I don't like that term anyway. One of the uh, expressions that I picked up this year is uh, we don't close clients. We open relationships. You know, it's so much nicer. The close I'm talking about here is literally the close of the webinar. You know, so um, bye bye. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day and always thank people for their time. They've given up precious time to be with you. Thank them for it. Acknowledge them for it. Wish them a nice afternoon, evening, whatever time it is, you know, day it is where they are right now. OK, so um, 
that's basically how you put the end together. So actually, I hope I've given you more than one little tea there. What would it mean to you if you can now feel comfortable doing sales on webinars? I know, Trace, you were saying that you stopped at that bit because you felt awkward. Yeah. If you follow this process from the structure through the beginning, the middle and the end, it will flow seamlessly. OK, so. um Oh, I forgot to move the slide on to say what should be in the offer. I've already talked about it anyway. Your core program, your bonuses, your t oh, testimonials as well. Put those in. Then reveal the offer price, give a guarantee, and then put a fast action bonus in if you want to as well. Okay, so that's what the offer is going to look like. Okay, so I've got to 25 minutes, and I pretty much managed to cover everything that I needed to cover to give you every chance of converting. And this stuff works, all right? Um, I've had people saying um, that they've got 25% conversion rate. I've actually had 100%, <laughs> although that was a very small sample of one. <laughs> okay, but this stuff works. So let me recap. First of all, you don't need long, we drawn out webinars. No, you don't have to keep to 30 minutes. You can do 45 minutes. You can still do an hour. I would strongly suggest, though, that you go do not go any longer than an hour. People just don't have time. They lose attention span and they just they just get put off off with it. But if somebody sees a replay and it's only half an hour and especially what I do, if I see something's fairly short and then I play it on Chrome, brilliant. I can do that. You know, I can I, I can watch it. So you're going to get people. I've shown you the structure and how to approach it, how much time to spend on each part and what to put in each part. I've, I've, I've taught you what the beginning should look like and the golden nugget, the pasty, that is gold. I'm telling you now, that is gold. I've shown you how to put the beginning, the middle together and how to craft the offer. OK, so still to come, I'm going to give you your downloads and I'm going to just give you a couple of tips on how to improve your show rate and your stick rate. All right. Um, but first of all, let me tell you briefly, and I've only allowed myself three minutes for this, <laughs> if how you can get your hands on everything that I've shared with you today in an awful lot more detail. So my 30 minute webinar program is going to give you in-depth training on literally everything that we've just covered. Lots of examples, lots of different ways of doing it so you can make it your own while still following a structure that works because there's nothing more boring than all webinars looking the same. Um, I'm going to go into the craft in a lot more detail so you know what that's all about and also how to put the magic ingredients in and how to deliver it so that, you know, um, it brings the whole thing to life. OK, um, so that's the basic core thing. Um, and I'm going to give you a template as well on what to say and how to put all this together. And I'm going to give you in, in the product um slide templates, PowerPoint slide templates as well. So it's going to make it very easy for you. Now, all of that normally is I'm going to be selling it um, later this later next year um, after I launch at two hundred ninety seven dollars. Just do the maths. Go back to that figure I gave you at the start. What would what what could one webinar provide for you? And I'm sure you'll see that it's well worth two hundred ninety seven dollars. But, you know, you're not going to pay that today because this is a very special Christmas offer. Hey, yay. So you and I'm going to throw in some bonuses. So you're going to get 30 minute webinars. You're also going to get speaking with confidence program because confidence is a big barrier. I'm going to give you a funnel. So if you use ClickFunnels, you don't even have to set things up yourself. I'm going to give you a funnel that you can use, you know, tweak and make your own. I'm going to give you some email sequences and I'm going to um, also give you my messenger marketing training so that you can run your webinar inside a chat bot, which is really super cool. So my Christmas offer is that you're not going to pay all that. Oh, I should have gone back and made more of that. The total value of all that lot and those are real prices is $1,185. But you're going to get it for only 47. OK, uh, Hector has been getting 25 percent conversions and he's run the webinar three times and got similar results. Um, 
Chase, hey Chase. Chase is always saying, you know, that she loves my webinars uh, and that, you know, I teach, I basically teach you how to run a great webinar. And Judith had problems with confidence and after my stuff, she was able to completely uh, nail it. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you a special fast action bonus. Okay. So if you sign, I'm going to be closing the doors at $47 because it's a pre launch offer. Okay. I'm going to be closing the doors Christmas Eve. Uh, so you've got until, um, six o'clock on the 24th to take advantage of this offer. And the reason for that, I've actually gone over a few seconds. I apologize. I'm going to go over by about a minute. <laughs> the reason I'm, um, I'm doing that is because I want to test it. I want to test. I'm a great webinar presenter. I'm great at teaching webinars. I'm not great on technology. So I want to test that this, my system works and my purchasing system works before I un unleash it on my proper launch. So this is a pre-launch. You're going to get some of the bonuses in there right now. Um, I'm still putting the training content together. That will be in there within a couple of days time. Um, but, Basically, you've got to do it by Christmas Eve to get the $47. But if you sign up before 6 o'clock tomorrow, I'm going to give you a 30-minute one-to-one uh, -one consultation for free so that you can um, I can help you with your webinar strategy and stuff. Okay. I'm going to give a money-back guarantee. So if in 14 days you're not happy and you think I've given you a load of tosh, you, I'll give you your money back. Uh, and that's it. And I just wanted to give you one piece extra. Show rate and stickability. These are really important. You get more people to show up promising them a download that you're going to give at the end. You get them to show up by sending out reminders. You get them to show up by telling them that you're going to give something different and that you that are going to deliver on your promises. Um, when you do all of that, people are much more likely to show up and they're much more likely to stick around to the end. So uh, I'm going to actually um, I'm going to drop the link for the gifts and I'm going to stick around now if anybody has any questions. So um, I actually did it in 32 minutes.